So we're gonna be picking up where I left off a few months ago where I was kind of showing you how to get a, how to build a WordPress theme in PineGrow and then getting it up online. We never really got it up online, so this is kind of what this episode is all about. So I've recently started using Hostinger, which has kind of inspired the episode. I have to say it was so easy getting my WordPress blog over onto Hostinger. I was already hosting it on AWS and it was costing me something like 10 pounds a month or something like that. Whereas I saw the Hostinger's plans were a lot cheaper. So thought, why not just transfer it? And it was so straightforward. I just logged in, signed up for the plan, uh, put my username and password details into hosting it and it kind of did the rest and all of a sudden my full stack agency website was over hosting on hosting and I'm saving a lot of money that way but just to kind of finish off that series as I was saying I'm going to be tearing that website down completely starting from fresh and kind of going into getting the pine grow website that i've built up on hosting it and just seeing how easy that is now pine grow have actually released a wordpress plugin that you basically install on any existing wordpress in installation and you can build your pine grow website right there inside of pine grow i've obviously got the site already built i haven't got the wordpress plugin so this is kind of doing the old or traditional method but i want to look into the pine grow plugin actually because it looks amazing to be fair given that i have a a wordpress theme already built in the desktop version of pine Grow, i thought let's just get it up and running and uh, see how we get on so yeah as i say we're going to be moving our our pine grow website a web WordPress theme built in PineGrow uh, to Hostinger. I'm gonna link down below the videos that I've made that got us to this point because what I've inevitably got is basically my website built in, in PineGrow that kind of works with uh, WordPress. For all intents and purposes, this is a pretty good theme. I've got kind of, uh, let's just run through it. I've got like um, a shop database here, which is linking through to uh, posts about the various books I've got on sale. It's got a blog here, which loops through all the blogs. <clears throat> uh, we've got some static pages. So like I say, I'm gonna be using Hostinger. I'll leave a link to an, an affiliate link below, which if you do sign up to Hostinger, which I do, I genuinely do uh, recommend. If you do sign up to Hostinger, I get I get a, a really nice kickback to, um, to use in their services through my link. So I'd really appreciate that. But ultimately, now's the time. If I go to Hostinger, we're gonna tear down our old website. So I'm using the hosting of uh, the WordPress plan, which I think is $2.99 a month. As I said, I was paying £10 a month through AWS. It's just not worth it for a small scale website. Oh, here we go. So it's going to be a WordPress website. Um, I'm going to generate a new password. I don't need a template. Use an existing domain. So the full stack agency dot X, Y, Z. I like to use Namecheap and of course there's an affiliate link below for that as well. I just find Namecheap super easy to use. And when buying a domain, it just seems so easy to navigate. So I'll, uh, I'll leave a link below that you can use for that. So let's manage this. We go so if we delete these okay so hosting a put creates a kind of temporary URL that you can preview everything that's going on so let's see if we can preview my website here look and there should be a standard kind of WordPress there we go standard WordPress website that they've they've just created for us now I think that's pretty much it from hosting us side uh, we do want to force SS HTTPS um, and we want to install an SSL but that's it from hosting us side of things I've just got to wait for my DNS to propagate which could take 24 hours, but it could also take 
no time at all. Let's start by getting our theme uploaded to this website. Okay, so we've jumped cut because uh, after the recording of the other one, I actually found a much more, much simpler way to do it. Uh, so rather than wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Essentially, we've got a WordPress website working on hosting and now, and now we want to actually transfer all of the data from our local WordPress installation over onto Hostinger. So I've got my local website here and what you're going to want to do is download a plugin called all-in-one WP migration right and when you run this you can export the entire database all the images and or at least all the references I don't quite know how it does it uh, you can export the whole thing basically and rather than wait for that I've actually already gone ahead and done the exporting so if we go to our we edit our website and it's already installed, the all-in-one plugin is already installed here and we import, import from file and upload the file we created, we exported earlier. Proceed. And we should have our fully working WordPress website. So I hope that was interesting. I hope that was helpful for you getting your WordPress theme built in Pine Grow up on Hostinger. As always, like, subscribe, all the rest of it. YouTube will recommend a video somewhere around here. And finally, happy no coding.